Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sarthak and today I will be talking about three browser extensions which are very cool and useful at the same time. Browser extensions or add-ons are small programs that add new features to your browser. There are a lot of popular extensions for both Chrome and Firefox like Adblocker, Grammarly etc. But in this video I will talk about three such browser extensions which you may not have heard about but they are great and super useful. So let's get started. The first extension is called Dark Reader. Having dark mode in mobile apps, operating systems and even browsers is common nowadays. But even today only a few websites support dark mode. And if you are a fan of dark mode like me, how happy would you be if I tell you Dark Reader is the solution. So let me show you how Dark Reader works. Let me start with Google. You can see that the Google search currently does not support dark mode. Even Wikipedia does not support dark mode. The popular site LinkedIn also does not support dark mode right now. And even the site Medium does not support dark mode. Let me start with enabling dark reader. So let me start with Google first and I'll search something on Google and you can see the Google search page is in dark mode and it looks pretty good. You go to Wikipedia next and you can see yourselves how it looks in dark mode. Now we are on medium and medium also looks good to me. Next is LinkedIn. Looks fine. So let me walk you through some uh, toggles that we have in dark reader. So the first toggle is on and off toggle. You can turn it on and off. Uh, dark and light is the same. You can also increase the brightness and see how it looks. And uh, whichever way you like, you can do it that way. The other good thing is you can blacklist or whitelist some sites on dark reader. For example, let me blacklist google.com for dark reader. And you will see now google.com is in light mode. But if I go to Wikipedia, that still stays in dark mode. The second extension is called Vimium. Vimium provides keyboard shortcuts for navigation and control. In simple language, it allows you to scroll, navigate and click on links by just using your keyboard. I will walk you through a few of many helpful features of Vimium. Let us start with opening a link while browsing. So the shortcut is F. So using F, you can open a link in the current tab. So currently on the menu, you will be able to see a lot of yellow colored links on which there are letters. So whenever you type that letter, that link opens in the current tab. For example, let me type G and the browser extension Wikipedia link opened in the current tab. We go back. So the second shortcut is uh, capital F. Capital F allows you to open the link in the new tab. So let me press uh, SM and you will see the Chrome Web Store link open in the new tab. The second cool thing that Vimium offers is searching through open tabs. So the shortcut is capital T. When you type capital T, you will be able to see all the tabs open listed. So when there are a lot of tabs, you can even search through the tabs by typing the title of the tab or the link. So let's say I typed Neuro and I can click and it goes to the respective tab. Let me go back. So the next cool thing is searching through your bookmarks. So the shortcut is uh, either small b. So by small b, when you search for your bookmarks, they'll be opening in the current tab. Let me search through my YouTube channel bookmark. So because I had typed small b, it opened in the current tab. Let me now tap capital B and again search for the same bookmark and now it will open in the new tab. So the next cool thing about Vimium is it allows you to search through your history. So the shortcut is a small o if you want to open the history page in this tab or capital O if you want to open it in the new tab. Let me search through one of my history pages which is history of India Wikipedia and it opens that page in a new tab. So another shortcut of Vimium is when you type question mark, it opens up this Vimium help menu, which lists all the major shortcuts of this extension. So you can check out a lot of other shortcuts which this extension offers. I personally love this extension. It is one of my favorites. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can support my channel by clicking to the subscribe button and enabling notifications. 
The third extension is called Black Menu for Google. It gives you quick access to all your favorite Google services with a convenient drop down menu. So uh, let me just walk you through this extension. Yeah. So you can see it is a convenient drop down menu and you have all the Google services that you can use here. So you can do a Google search from here. Uh, you can use Google Maps. You can use Google Translate. You can access to Google News. You can view your Gmail. You can access your Google Keep Notes. You can add new notes and do whatever you want with your notes. You can search for flights. For example, searching for flights from New Delhi to Bangalore now. And you can see the flights. You can access any Google service you want to use. You can customize this menu and add any uh, any of the Google services that you want to add here. For example, I can add YouTube here. Or I can add Google Calendar here. And it will be integrated. So you can also enable notifications for a few of the Google services which support it. Uh, in the settings menu, you can change the theme. Um, so this extension will ask for a lot of permissions for different Google services that you integrate with it and you will be giving those permissions. So anytime you feel you don't want to use this extension anymore, you can revoke all the permissions. And also if you want to reset it to default, you can reset it from here. So in short, it is a very good option to keep all the Google services in one place and you need not open a new tab to use any of the Google services. You can access them from here. You can also add multiple accounts here. And that's it about uh, Black Menu for Google. So that's it. The three extensions that I talked about in this video are Dark Reader, Vimium, the Hackers Browser, and Black Menu for Google. All of these extensions are available in both Firefox and Chrome, and even on other Chromium based browsers like Edge, Opera, etc. Do let me know in the comment section which one of them is your favorite. Give a like to this video if you think it was helpful and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, there is a bonus extension which is only available on Firefox. It is called Tree Style Tab and is very useful in organizing your tabs. You can see the link to a separate video that I made on it and check that out too. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.